No, the real killer is still out there, Watson. There is something that we missed. I am connecting the dots. The constable, the prime minister, the constable knew too much. The pervert's penis, the queen's scepter. The pervert was just a distraction. The mugger, the poison, connected. The painting, that chair, connected. The fireplace, your wallet, connected. This pencil and this doggy, connected. Have mercy upon me, O Yah, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest. We should be dead. Yeah. All of the stuff that we did. Wondering how you forgive. Swimming in all of these sins. Have mercy on your kids. We ain't really know why we should leave. We was told to total opposite. The water all banana we can see. So, uh, Watson, what are you doing? 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 Uh, we do want to say something. Uh, we normally say it on most of our videos, but we kind of want to give a real disclaimer that we can um, kind of have for you guys, just so you understand this before the videos get started. Man, please watch all the videos. Um, if you decide to go embark on this with us, watch the videos. Really enjoy it. Um, these views are not the views of ourselves. These are the views of those on TikTok, and uh, we're just exploring them. Uh, so, you know, the same way that you would watch a video and be like, man, I can't stand that. Why would they do that? We probably watch the video and we probably get the same reaction. Yeah, there's so, a lot of things that you're able to watch on TikTok. Y'all just have to be watching with us. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, just keep in mind, man, we, we, we definitely wanted to be understood that these views are not our own. And, uh, you know, as long as everybody can, can, can be open and honest, then I feel like the dialogue can be had. So, Shalom, 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 man, we back again, we back again, man. Um, so, look, early in this week, man, we, was, uh, we hit y'all with the grizzle grizzle. We had to show y'all what, what these people was talking about with the man versus the bear and everything, man. Um, you know, uh, drizzle, drizzle, and sprinkle, sprinkle was wild. That, that's, that's really the only way I can describe it. It was wild. Um, so now we're going to look at some, I guess, less political. I mean, I guess it's still kind of political, but just less harmful information you know what i'm saying less less heart stabby information you know what i'm saying should nobody get triggered <laughs> you know what i'm saying unless, unless you just find out something profound but we gonna look at the truth is in the movies i'm gonna say it again for the uh for the people in the back that may not have heard me the truth is in the movies. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have a very particular and unique perspective on why we see things in movies come to fruition and why movies seem to be kind of prophetic in nature. I think that the Most High is guiding the spirits of these people to do these things unbeknownst to them like I think that like that's why like if you watch certain movies like Avatar and all of this different stuff and it's always so like you can literally see the dynamic of certain nations in the world in these movies right and it's like are these people movie directors or are they history buffs or are they scientists or are they mechanics or are they engineers or are they military people because they seem to have it all correct <laughs> right 
So I'm not saying that you know I, you know of course we understand that they get a, a team of people together and and everybody has their different things that they do right, but there be information in these movies. Like say man it it be stuff in these movies. It's like hey. I didn't find that out until I started reading in the pseudepigrapha of the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? Straight up what they call forbidden knowledge type stuff. That's when I found out about this. For example, like, you know what? A good example of what I'm talking about. Um, I don't even know. I don't even think that's even in the lineup. But Dante's Inferno. You know, if anybody was to ever... Take the time to go watch Dante's Inferno. It's a good story. If you go play the games, good stories, good 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 action. Um, very immersive. Very, um, you know what I'm saying? Like it, all the elements of a good game, movie, show, and everything, right? But when you find out that everything in it comes straight out of you know what I'm saying these different older writings where uh, Lilith and things like that were introduced um, Lucifer and the different uh, demons names and things like that that uh, were used throughout these different uh, mythological uh stories, if you will, from well, well, well before the time of, you know what I'm saying, the, what what we call the canon now and everything, right? These are stories that are supposed to be ancient and all this other stuff. You mean to tell me that the director and the, and, and, and the, and the screenplay writer and stuff just happens to know everything about that. Mm -hmm. All the way down to every single detail. All the way. And he got time to live his normal life too. <laughs> Not saying that there's no studying that goes into it, but I think that the Most High guides a lot of it so that it is so prophetic. Like... I don't think that any one person on the Simpsons, uh, you know what I'm saying, crew is prophetic in and of themselves. But when they come together and their ideas come out on that paper and they and they put forth the storyboards, the Most High just makes it to where at the end of the day, it is telling us what's about to happen. Because it keep happening. <laughs> like they they put out they put out an episode three years later boom there it go it's happening I'm just saying they've been right more times than they've been wrong and as a matter of fact I don't know of a time they've been wrong no one's made a video about that one wonder why So all kinds of videos about how they was right. You know what I'm saying? But aside from that, though, um, we're going to look at the truth in the movies because they do put a lot of truth in these movies. Um, they put it in our faces. They, they, they make it to where you see it. It's right there. They telling you what they doing. But it's a blockbuster movie, so it must be for entertainment. Right. It can't actually be happening to people. It has to be entertaining. So, um, if you're new, like, share, and subscribe. If not, you already know what's going on. It's about to be light, lit. It's about to be live. We're about to get it in. Yeah, listen to this. Check this out. The authority has ruled in the kingdom of heaven with absolute control. He named himself the creator, the father, the almighty. Listen, y'all. They let you know that these producers and these directors, like they have access to the knowledge. They got and all the access. The dark angel by his side. 
The name of the show is His Dark Materials, y'all. Since then, we have lived between the worlds, watching and waiting for vengeance. These are four movies that expose the truth about reality. They always put the truth in plain sight and especially movies. So watch to the very end to see which movie has the most truth in it. For number one, we got They Live. This movie is about a man that was able to put on shades and see life for what it truly was. This also represents waking up and seeing the world for what it actually is. Now I ain't gonna lie, this shit is true but scary at the same time. Leave a like on this video if you already feel like you're wearing these glasses. And you know I had to include The Matrix. This movie reveals that most people are living in a false reality full of lies and control. And everybody can either wake up to the truth or stay asleep. But if you decide to wake up, you'll see how corrupt the world truly is. And most people don't even know. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. This movie also talks about being the chosen one because all the chosen ones are different and have special gifts. Comment chosen if you feel like you're the chosen one. Next y'all, we got Avatar. First, it reveals the concept of traveling to different worlds and taking the form of an avatar. And you do the exact same thing every time you dream. And if you look in the mirror, you are your own avatar that you customize every single day. Now, the director of this movie said that your imagination creates reality. So the world that he created was an example of how powerful your imagination is. And since he brought it to reality, that proves that you can do the same thing. And last but not least y'all, we got Dr. Strange. This movie shares the importance of going within yourself to unlock your full potential. And separating from your ego was the key to unlocking this potential. But not everybody believes that it's there. There is no such thing as spirit. But once you open your mind and tap in with yourself, you realize how powerful you truly are. And that's when you become aware to all the possibilities life has to offer. Comment your favorite movie down below and follow me for more. Y'all stay conscious. I'm about to tell y'all the top five movies to watch. And if not top five, just five movies to watch that I guarantee if you go in with an open mind, you will see how art imitates life. So if you are on your spiritual awakening, or if you are just trying to become more conscious, or if you just want to see how the truth is hidden in plain sight, and if you think about it this way, with an open mind, these are the top movies to watch with a clip. I'm going to start off with something that's a lot lighthearted, but if you want to know the truth about consciousness in your soul, watch this movie. And wholeheartedly just go in with an open mind and this movie will tell you a lot about how consciousness works and how the soul works and how some people can really be walking around here with it unattached to their bodies here a clip just to explain it just look at this clip now to reconnect to your earthly body What am I doing with my life? I'm alive! I'm alive! Free yourself! <laughs> if you get it, you get it. That one, I feel like that is not as crazy as a, of a topic. Or if you want to really see the truth, watch They Live as if it's a documentary and not a movie. Watch it as if it's a documentary and not a movie, hypothetically. What's your problem? I said, what's your problem? How are you today, sir? Okay, how's it going? Bye, thank you. Thank you, sir. Number three, stay till the end to see the biggest one at number five. But this movie right here is called The Truman Show. This movie right here really had me dissociating uh, like uh, two years ago. Like the first time I seen it, this movie right here, it really blows my mind when I be thinking like they really be making these movies and they be putting it in the movies, but you got to think enough 
to even get it. So I'm going to just break it down a little bit. Actually, I don't want to tell you. Go watch the movie. Man, going into that movie already knowing is one thing that that's like crazier. But not knowing is like you gonna want to rewatch it immediately. But number four, this movie right here, I do not know how. I've not seen anybody on spiritual talk or consciousness talk or like woke talk, conspiracy talk, talk about this movie. Right here. Don't worry, darling. This movie right here triggered me. And I just watched this movie like a couple, like like two months ago. I can't even put a clip of this movie in here because I don't want anybody to go in here thinking that they know what happened and they don't. Because it just wouldn't make sense until it got to the end. Go watch this movie. It's so much truth. And it's scary when you get to the end how truthful it is. But be careful with the future in technology. Number five, last, but most definitely not least, this movie right here is one of the most mind-boggling movies to come rewatch at my adult age with this level of consciousness that I have. Because... If you know, you know from day one, this movie right here, whoever wrote that book, they know something. I promise you. But this right here, the whole series, but number one, two, and three, those first ones, especially number two. But the way that that process is reminds me a lot about war and how people in the hood or in the projects or in middle class with the lack of people, what they do to survive when they put you in that arena while these other people eating good, living good and are entertained by the tomfoolery. And then you have somebody like Katniss who represents people like that come and speak out and do these things that have these brave hearts and understand what's so messed up about the system. And you think that you can break the system of what's going on by stepping out of line. And all I'm going to say is watch this next clip. The real enemy is... I could dissect this movie so deep. If you want me to dissect this movie, please spam this in the comments and I'll probably make a YouTube video about it or a TikTok about it. And the next thing I want to say is when you are watching these movies, go in it with an open mind and open eyes. Really. And don't be closed minded because you really could be blocking your view. You follow me? Speaking of that, follow me and comment if you want a part two and check out my showcase and follow me on IG because you never know if this going to come down. I be speaking too much truth on it, bro. They be taking my videos down. But yeah, like, comment, share. It's the darker reason why most people don't want to wake up spiritually and movies like this will tell you why. Is it happening again, David? What are you talking about? You know what I mean. We all like to think we're in control of our own destiny. So much of our lives are shaped by other people. You need to learn to control your dreams, Louise. You and me, we're special. You always knew things. How is that? Once you.
you start, some things can never be taken back. Maybe you engineered this. You said this was a fresh start. Now tell me before I start screaming. I see things. It's a reason why we were never taught about the astral world or astral projection or any kind of spiritual knowledge at that. It's a deeper meaning or a darker meaning behind all of this. You ever wonder how people knew what you was going to do, what you was going to wear, what you was going to eat? They have something called remote viewing. There's certain people in the world that understand how energy works and they take all their energy and put it back in and sometimes they might focus on you. We do have chosen people on this planet that is here for a spiritual purpose. And remember, there are some people that's against spirituality. So if they know how to remote view, they know how to take your energy. You ever wonder why they put everyone in these big ass cities where everyone is all cramped up? People are bumping into each other. People are touching you. Did you know that there is a demonic purpose behind all of this? We have chakras in our hands or portals in our hands. And when you touch strangers, you actually absorb their energy and they go into your body. Same reason why they want everyone with TVs in their bedrooms. Did you know when you go to bed watching TV, whatever's taking place in that TV is going into your astral world. They call it space for a reason. Cause once you go into the astral world, there's nothing but space. You can create so many different realities. But since we forgot about this hidden knowledge of spirituality, we absorb all kind of negative energy. And when we go to bed, we create nightmares. Then when we wake up, our physical reality become a nightmare. Your dream world and your astral world is connected to everything that's gonna to happen to you in the physical world. That's why learning how to meditate breathe right and activate your chakras can actually protect you and heal you. We have aura fields around our body to protect us from people that's remote viewing and people that's trying to steal your energy. Did you know that we have different bodies and different realities? Every time you steal from someone, if you lie to someone, or if you're walking around with a lot of anger, this actually weakens your aura field to let demons inside of your physical body. When they put movies on like this, they are talking to a small selection of people because a lot of people laugh at it and say it's not real. But the spiritual world is more real than the physical world. Everything that happened to you in this world, it came from the spiritual world. That's why it's so important to be in the right environment, be around the right people, eat the right food, know how to do energy work, because if you have holes in your aura fill, you will always be sick. For more tips, check out the ebook. Somebody got some explaining to do. You see this? This is the new Aquaman movie. It literally just came out a few days ago, and they didn't put the entire truth about aliens, reptilians, and Atlanteans in this movie right in our faces, and even Antarctica ice wall. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This was all brought with the solid ice until we started hitting the planet. But thank God for global warming, right? Uh, yeah, that's not exactly a good thing. down there, which means the monsters down there. And what's the monster? Yeah, that's what they was talking about in that movie. It's like they're showing us all of this shit before 2024. It's like they want you to know exactly what's been happening, but without having to tell you and cause a mass panic. But in that movie, you seen the scientists were down there in the ice wall in Antarctica Digging up artifacts for the villain, and let me show you the villain that I'm talking about. This man right here, he came across this uh, pitchfork that was some type of psychic connection to this demon lord that was frozen in the underworld who was connected to the Lost Kingdom. This is the Aquaman, and I'm going to also show you who he represents, but this is who that black dude represented. And you see how they try to play a, a role, a switch the color role type shit when they show us this shit in a movie? Yeah, other way around. But anyways, this is the reptilian king that was linked to that pitchfork that was controlling the black man telling him to do everything to try to kill the Atlantean king which was trying to keep him in his place to keep the balance and the powers in the world. He wanted to cause one world mass destruction order and he wanted to turn everybody using his black magic into monsters and versions of him. <laughs> if that ain't uh, <laughs> at its finest huh, these type of people <laughs> you know I don't know what it is. I I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot. 
Don't shoot. They thought we didn't know. You are be knowing. Truth Hidden in Movies Part 2. The film we're going to talk about today was a movie released in November of 1988. The name of They Live. This late 80s film starring John Carpenter started off as a normal sci-fi movie but then took a sinister turn once John found these sunglasses that allowed him to see the truth behind things. Typically the same thing that they're doing in the real world but we are too narrow-minded to understand. They literally put stuff like this in our face. As I say in each and one of these videos, make sure y'all remember their universal rule. Just to do and put everything in our face because that is us basically giving them our consent to do such things. They continue to do it. I'll show y'all this clip from the movie and y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments and let me know if y'all want a part three also. You look like your head fell on the cheese dip back in 1957. You, you're okay. This one, real fucking ugly. Oh. You see, I take these glasses off, she looks like a regular person, doesn't she, huh? Put them back on, formaldehyde face, that's what that's we got. That's enough out of you. You get out or I call the cops. Call the cops? You know what you need? You need a Brazilian plastic surgeon. <laughs> Got one that can see. Uh, he's a tall Caucasian male, doesn't appear armed, wearing sunglasses. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. They tell you the truth in movies. You better wake up and join the freedom journey. Don't believe me, just go watch 88. Boundaries policies will widen that chasm. 
individual responsibility in my ass. More people in jail, more war, more dead, more people in crippling debt. Who profits? The Great Depression needs a scapegoat. Blacks, Muslims, Mexicans, Asians, more shootings, more bombings. Afghanistan, Iraq 1, 9-11, Iraq 2, 7-7, Paris, Brussels, Orlando, Munich a month ago, Geneva before that. A dozen more attacks on home soil and people will be begging to have their freedoms taken away just to keep us safe. Who profits? Your 1%. Your master race. So it's over? Is that what you're saying? It's not in human nature to give away power. It's taken. White supremacy is the construct protecting that power. We are witnessing the last gasp of a dying beast, kicking and screaming. So what do you want? Stop turning over stones. That round in? We must. Or they've receded to the shadows for the next 20 years. Find a new figurehead we might not identify until it's too late. They must think they've won so we can strike with a single death blow. Trying to put me on. I can go depressed. With what? Uh, documents, files, evidence that they sponsored a poor black child from the South, helped him with an education, a business, a home, and turned him into the front runner for the presidency. How that might do their public image of world good. So what do you have? The wife just gave birth to a baby girl. Go home to your family. Lock the doors and batten down the hatches. There's a storm coming, Mr. Jackson. Stay out of the way. There are three kinds of aliens. The greys, insectoids, and the reptilians. But nine times out of ten, what people report seeing are the greys, the reptilians. I don't think those accounts are credible. The invasion already happened. No one knows exactly when, but they're here. They've been here. Do you know what they want? They seem to be studying us, experimenting on us. One thing we know for sure is they use our fears against us. Movies stopped being just movies when this movie came out. Watch how I connect the dots in this next video you're about to see. And then dump the remains down the drain to be recycled into the municipal water supply. And so people are drinking it, they're showering it, they're doing their laundry in it. This is happening in most states across the country in most major cities they're recycling dead people and feeding it to the living what does that mean exactly and they're grinding up the bones into powder they call this calcium phosphate which is going to be used for food processing undoubtedly and then i saw the fields with my own eyes watched them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living and standing there, facing the pure, horrifying precision, I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. ...around the world now have these vessels hovering over them. London, okay, the picture is breaking up, but you can see a craft there. They're downing all air traffic. Aircraft are settling like... Feathers. So they're settling like feathers. All over the world. No casualties. Everything in the sky is been ground. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're containing us. So bad. Watch. Siobhan, move the headline picture. Already up, Hugo. This is the disturbing truth behind the movie Cars. Okay, so this disturbing theory about the movie Cars was actually confirmed by the creative director himself, Jay Ward. The theory goes that in the universe of Cars, we don't see humans because they simply don't exist anymore. When the Cars became sentient beings, they realized there was no need for humans anymore. And they killed them all. But to add insult to injury, Ward confirmed that the cars in fact took the personality of the last person who drove them. 
This seems to imply that the car somehow literally consumed all the people in the world and took on their personalities, meaning this would make them soul-sucking cars. And it honestly doesn't get any worse than that. I could never look at this movie the same again. This is our reality. Watch this. It was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. <laughs> one ant. <laughs> You're right. It's just one ant. Yeah, boss. They're puny. Hmm. Puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> how about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. You a piece of dirt. No, I'm wrong. You're lower than dirt. You're an ant. Let this be a lesson to all you ants. Ideas are very dangerous things. You are mindless, soil-shoving losers. Put on this earth to serve us. You're wrong, Hopper. Ants are not meant to serve grasshoppers. I've seen these ants do great things. And year after year, they somehow managed to pick food for themselves and you. TikTok, I got this movie for y'all that y'all need to fucking watch. And y'all tell me what y'all think about this. There's some sick ass people out here in this world. It's some real life cannibalism shit going on. Something is telling me that all that meat that they be selling in these damn meat markets in these grocery stores, some of that shit ain't fucking animal meat. And they put the truth in these damn movies, man. They put the fucking truth in these movies. Oh, my God. This movie is called Fresh on Hula. He's packaging it full of the women that he didn't abduct it and kill. Sending some of their belongings along with packaged meat of theirs. And notice the box. I know y'all ain't just see that box. The shipping box that he has. The shit shipping out in. This movie is fucking sick. It's crazy. I suggest y'all watch it because... <laughs> They putting this shit in our faces. At this point, if y'all don't believe what the fuck is going on out here in this world, then you fucking crazy. Excuse my grandson in the background, too. People really be eating that food. So he abducted this woman right here. Had her thinking that they was in a relationship just to take her 
on Maybe a vacation. Well, just to pretend like he was taking her on a vacation and he ended up abducting her. He only picks, picks women that uh, don't have any siblings and have deceased mothers. Y'all gotta watch this movie. I'm trying. Shit crazy. It's called Fresh on Hula. Here's the truth behind Moana. Moana isn't actually the real daughter of Chief Tui. Her real father has been Maui the entire time. Moana is his long lost daughter, which explains why they look so alike and why Maui's so attached to her. It also explains why Moana is the only other character with powers, just like Maui does. She's actually a demigod, but Maui is too afraid to tell her the truth. Five movies that are metaphorically about us. I don't really have a lot to say about the videos. Um, they're kind of self-explanatory. I mean, they be putting the truth in the movies. But couple things I wanted to point out. The very first video we watched about his dark materials and how it starts off, like, yeah, that's, hey, man, I recommend anybody go read the trilogy, um, the Amber Spyglass, the uh, Golden Compass, and uh, the Subtle Knife. Definitely go read those. It is um, profound. It is profound in there, what, what they have in that book. Um, and that's kind of what I was talking about before, like, I, I can't honestly just believe that all the art authors in the world have all kinds of prophetic knowledge. Like, no, this, this has to be some type of divine intervention that causes these people's writings to end up like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, or causes these people's movies to end up like this and to convey those certain things and to have those certain undertones because you know it, it, it everybody can't know everything and it can't just be all of the movie producers happen to know all of the ancient documents like no that's not how that, that's not how that works bro <laughs> and it's just it's just not um and the other thing i want to talk about is that you know a lot of people, they, they attribute stuff to, like, the whole astral world and astral projection and things like that. And I think that, you know, movies that talk about those things, they do shed light to some truth. But I don't think it's the truth that we're able to astral project and all that other extra stuff. Because people be like, oh, you can make your own realities. And they talk about it as if they're doing this stuff or if they have figured out how to do it and they've been doing it. But you still here on TikTok. Why aren't you in this new reality? Why are you still here? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you're not teaching me how to get there. It ain't like you came back for us. You just on TikTok telling us to this in the movies. Right, but it <laughs> is it is a real concept, though. Like, the scriptures will, sit, will, will teach you, you know, to, to, to dwell in the spirit, right? To be spirit. Because you have your flesh, you have your mind, but then all of it together is your soul. Mm -hmm. To be in the spirit is to be watching what your soul is doing and managing your soul. Right. So, it's like you're projecting yourself watching over you. That's to walk in the spirit, to dwell in the spirit. So... Whenever you do something, your spirit can see what you're doing and the product of what you're interacting with. So how you're interacting with this person and what spiritual inclination you're feeding onto them. Because every action has a reaction. So paying attention to the things you do and the fruit that it will bear. Right, that is being spiritual versus right. just letting things happen and then see what's going to happen. Right. And then like the whole astral projection like, yeah. thing, that, that, that's the part that I don't think is real, though. Mm. Because, like, that's like, while I'm asleep, I can leave my body and go 
travel through space. Like, if that was the case, everybody would be doing it. It'd be over with. Right. Like, come on, quit playing. Earth is not no five star planet. If, if you know, if we if we gonna grade the planets, you know what I'm saying. I want to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying. That's that's just what it is. So, um, there was that. Um, but that that's mainly all that I had for it. Did you um, have anything you wanted to add for the people, man? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Have you noticed things like that in movies as well? I have. Yeah. But these are like 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 sister was saying earlier, you know, in the uh, earlier videos, right? These things you have to come to with an open eyes. Because you got to have eyes to see it. If you're not looking for it, paying attention to it, then it's just going to go right over your head. And if you're looking for it, but from your own, from your own understanding, you're not going to get the message that they're trying to convey to you. So the truth, it is what it is. Trying to bring your own uh, thoughts about the truth to the truth will make it not the truth. So you have to have open eyes, you have to have, you know, like my brother Peas, you would say clear eyes, no visor, so that you can see it without any additional influence. Just take it for what it is. And then once you have something without influence, then you can see where it fits. Then you can match other pieces together and you can see what it is. You can see the whole picture without extra influence and that's how you find the truth. God, God. So yeah, open eyes when you look at this information because some of these things are, you know, it's the truth about dogma. Right? Some of the things that the people are feeding you that is not real but it's affecting you because of right the intent of what it was. So you gotta look out for those things too, and that's that, that's also true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, just uh, let us know in the comments how y'all feel about it. it. Ain't gonna be no extra long, uh, you know what I'm saying? Outro on this one, but. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely go check it out, man. Go 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 look at some uh some shorts or something like that for like the Simpsons episodes and stuff, and, and see see if you know what I'm saying. See see if it's for real, like, cause things don't get traction for no reason. Like right. people don't start talking about how uh the Simpsons is predicting stuff just because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, <laughs> and a lot of things that have um, a lot of things that have truth in them have have been seen, right? Even you know prophecy, right? right? The prophecy that the Bible talks about, they put it in movies from a worldly perspective, and. It's hidden, like the truth is hidden inside of it because it's coming from somebody of the world, but it's all the truth until, pray, until you actually see it come to pass. You know, like for example, Independence Day. I was just thinking about that. The movie Independence Day with Will Smith, right? You have, right, the human race on the earth. One guy specifically, you know, he's in, or the human race has an interaction with an entity from the outside world, right? A mothership. The mothership comes and cracks our sky. From that mothership, there's thousands of smaller ships. <laughs> and the human race is going to look at it as an invasion and fight back and 
the 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 cover story of it is the human race is going to win against the alien invasion. We already know that superior technology is the one that's going to win. Right? When you look at the world of Star Wars and uh mm -hmm. And uh, the Empire versus the Resistance. The Resistance is not supposed to win. Of course, for the sake of a story, right, they make it unfold the way they want to, but that's not how it's supposed to go. And when you read the Bible, the Bible has a prophecy about the sky being cracked and a, uh, and a, and a, chariot of glory coming out of the sky with thousands of hosts and the people of the earth are going to make war with the chariots of God. Okay. And it's just a cover story, right? It, it, the cover of it is, right, the people in the, in the military are going to be fighting an alien invasion. But in the, the truth of it is, is that when the most high comes, when the most high comes back to this earth, right? When his angels come back to this earth, right? To do what they're supposed to do, the world is going to fight against God. Because the world don't know God. The world don't know what's inside them scriptures. They don't understand the prophecy and the things that are supposed to happen in the last days. Right, you have chariots that are flying around the world every day, and people look at them like they're they don't belong here. Yeah. Right, like they just started coming down here, or they don't know what they are. They're uh, unidentified aerial phenomenons, or yeah, UAPs. Or UFOs, <laughs> man. But they gotta keep you locked up. They gotta take the glasses away from you so you don't see the alien faces, or so that you don't see the truth. All right, that's really what it is, man. Because it's it's the truth. If you if you looked at Independence Day the way the Bible was telling you, yeah, you wouldn't join the United States Space Force. All right, not of your own volition. Wait, what? Why do they have a space force? I thought aliens were space. They get ready for something. Maybe Independence Day. <laughs> 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 hmm? Hmm? Are you going to join the, the war to fight Independence Day? Are you going to be Will Smith going inside the mothership and killing off the, the queen? <laughs> of course, they made it a, a female. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be a king. It can't There's be a Christ. Drill. It can't be. <laughs> oh, man. See, they always got to flip yeah. something so that you won't put two and two together with ease. But it's it's right there. Yeah. All you got to do is read it here and really look at it there, and it's... But Connected. really, that's that's the issue. It's not that they're really hiding it. What it is is they know that most of us haven't read this book. They haven't read the prophecies. They don't know what the prophecies say. Mm -hmm. So when we show them the prophecies in these movies, they're not going to notice it. They're just going to see a war between aliens. Right. They're, like, they're not going to see what Star Wars is really talking about. They're not going to understand what X-Men and all of that is talking about. They not going to really get it when they watch all of these different things like Unbreakable and all of that stuff. And these different movies to give you all of these different uh, ideas and stuff. Right, like The Matrix. The Matrix had right. four movies. Right. And yeah. it, still, it still explains the truth in like all the movies. Even the fourth one where he went back to sleep. Right. Right. The the chosen one, the one that was supposed to free everybody, went back to sleep until he came back again. <laughs> until he was 
Who is that? Who is that? Until he was resurrected. Come on, bro. That's just, that's all it is, man. It's, it's not, it's not hard. So, you know, y'all put it in the comments, man. Let us know what y'all think. Um, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're not, you already know what's going down. You need to like, share, and subscribe as well. Uh, well, not subscribe, but you need to, uh, you know what I'm saying, share it and everything else. Um, and comment. Make sure y'all get in the comments, man. But other than that, man, we're going to say shout out one. Shout out one. And shout out one. No, the real killer is still out there, Watson. There is something that we missed. I am connecting the dots. The constable, the prime minister, the constable knew too much. The pervert's penis, the queen's scepter. The pervert was just a distraction. The mugger, the poison, connected. The painting, that chair, connected. The fireplace, your wallet. Connected! This huh? pencil and this doggy connected! We turn now to the wildfires exploding in the southwest in the state of emergency in Arizona. The tunnel fire burning for more than 20,000 acres. Kelly Hartog has the latest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the world, look at the tragedy. Trust in your word, waiting on the majesty. Keep the command, make sure he ain't mad at me. He opened our eyes. Floods and fire, tornadoes and earthquakes is coming alive. You sit in the place where you survive. He saw us fall and Jacob on the ride. We got the most side. 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 Look at the world. Look at the tragedy. Keep the command. Make sure he ain't mad at me. Look at the world. Look at the tragedy.